Hi, I'm Site Supervisor Anna Shackelford, and we are over here by our Dud Chet Excavations, and so that's where we're going to be building uh, a structure to house our, our faunal collection. Um, but we're going to be talking a little bit about the features that we've been finding over here for this episode of Dig Deeper. Before discussing our archaeological finds, Dave Givens will present the results of the GPR study that you saw run in Dig Deeper, Episode 12. So once we complete the field work, which is really what takes the most amount of time, we always run our surveys in, in a unidirectional manner um, with half foot or one foot intervals. Uh, the quick part is actually the processing uh, once we go back in the lab. So. Let's go ahead and, and go into our offices and in the air conditioning and see what we found. Back here in the office, we've taken all the images that were done and interpolated them together to make a three-dimensional map of what's under the ground. In this image, you can see the test unit holes that were put out to 12 for where the dead shed or the uh, storage shed is supposed to go. And then in the upper portion of the image you see where we the building is in existence and we couldn't go past that building. Now the interpolated images allow us to slice down into the earth and, and geophysical practitioners refer to these as slices because literally you're going down in the earth. Now one of the first things you can see is this this boundary line here. Uh, this is actually an historic feature. We think a boundary ditch or a uh, some sort of fortification feature but you can see it's been cut through and now we know uh, with the imagery that that's actually a utility line. And in fact, if we zoom in, you can actually see the pipe come into play here. Now other features that are within here that are kind of interesting is there's a power line that comes out of the structure and is heading across the field to the Dale House. And that's intercepted by another utility line which was put in while I was working here, which is the network line to the museum. Now these other darker features you see here are plantings from where bushes were planted behind the museum. So we're not seeing a whole lot of, of historic features except for this, this uh, ditch feature uh, within the area of the shed. Um, but that's, that's normal. We often encounter graves and older ditches and things like that that you just aren't going to see. So I'll be curious to, to see what they find out out there. Um, and they, like again, like I said, again, they should run into these utilities that were put in over time. So a lot of the features uh, that we've been finding here over by the dead shed, uh, we have a few modern ones as well as some that may date back to the 17th century. Uh, so back here where field technician uh, Caitlin Del Mouse is working, you can see we have this line running fairly east-west across the unit. This is actually a uh, modern telecommunications utility line. So we're not actually going to dig down into that at all. We're going to just uncover the top so we can map it and know where it is. We also have a, another uh, fairly modern utility trench running fairly north-south here. Uh, and this one is a little bit older, um, possibly dating back towards the 1950s. Both of these utility trenches we actually saw on our GPR readings uh, that we conducted before actually opening up uh, the excavation site here. Uh, some more modern features we have is we've come across a couple of planting holes. So that's what that sandy pit is right there. Uh, there used to be a tree there and there's actually a, a wire cage that had been placed down in there to, to hold the tree that we had to cut out. Uh, and we have another one in the unit behind me as well. Uh, as far as older features go, uh, one of the ones we have in here right now is this burial. And you can see that it is running just about perfectly east-west. So that's one indication that it is a burial. Um, also, you know, the size of it. It's just big enough for a person, as well as the, the color of the soil in there. You can see that people had to dig down through, you know, the native horizon, e-horizon, and subsoil. And once they filled it all back in, all of that got jumbled together. So with this modern utility ditch here, uh, the reason that we were actually testing into it is um, because in those original ground penetrating radar surveys, 
we originally thought it may be part of a boundary ditch. Uh, that would be quite a bit earlier. Um, we were doing this test to see if we could find any artifacts that likely would have been trash placed in that ditch to fill it up uh, to see if we could date it. But as you can see from the sides of the test here, uh, they're very, very vertical. <laughs> and so that's an indication that it's a more modern feature. If it was a historic ditch, the sides would be uh, more, more sloped. And you can also see here uh, the modern utility trench actually cuts through this burial. And an another indication is that in our profile back here, we can actually see that uh, this modern utility line cuts through what we call the plow zone. And the plow zone in this area, um, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's where plows have just been drawn through the soil, turning everything up together. Uh, and that's going to be dated back more towards the 1700s and 1800s. So after when a lot of the uh, property ditches would have been uh, dug in this area. And then over on the other side of the unit, we also uh, originally had some plow scars. And so that's where against the subsoil, you can see these almost uh, tiger stripe looking features where the plow dug down into the subsoil and um, that, that mixed, uh, mixed soil uh, filled in those, those divots. Hi, I am field technician Caitlin Delmas, and I am also working over here in the dead shed area. But unlike the two units over there, I am in a unit that is in work in progress. So typically, if we're in undisturbed soil, before we can get down to the historical features and artifacts that we're really interested in, we typically have to dig through some modern things as well. So in my unit here, I have a planting hole, very similar to the one in the other unit. However, in my unit, I also had a large amount of gravel, um, which you can actually see in this caramel color uh, in the profile here. So we've taken almost all of that out at this point, and I am starting to come down to plow zone uh, here, which is where we're trying to get to. Um, and it has a lot of brick inclusions in it, which is how we know that we're coming down on top of it. So this is what we know about the site as of August 14th. Please watch future Dig Deeper videos because we expect to see additional features as we remove the plow zone layer. Also, while our work is currently focused on the dead shed construction area, the GPR results are compelling enough that we'll probably come back to this area for study in the future.